Well, hello there, my name is Love Spuds, and I am back with more Assassin's Creed 3. So, when we left off, we uh, were ripping some posters off the wall with Mr. Samuel Adams, and now we're traveling through the fast travel tunnels or the underground tunnels, whatever you want to call them. And I need to find a way to the printer shop, I believe, so we can use your lantern to light use the, the lantern. <laughs> They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. <clears throat> follow the animals' movements. Oh, let's follow the rats. I can't go through there. Don't expect me to. But I would have thought this way would be the right way anyway, considering that that's where the marker is in terms of direction. Let's just light up these uh, torches or lights, whatever Excellent. you want to. Ever. Let us move on. The Crown Coffee House is that way. Okay, so I don't know. I guess we got to go this way. <clears throat> don't need to go to the Crown Coffee House at the moment. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. Yeah, but they're not going to an exit. They're just going around in their little holes. I would have gone down here anyway. To be honest, just light that up. Pretty much almost there. Should be. Uh, well, this should be pretty much it, shouldn't it? Yeah. There we go. Well, well. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. Ours. <laughs> I don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? It sure is, Mr. Arse. I like father, like son, of course. Reconvene there. Sure thing, Mr. Adams. La 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 la. Uh, yes, I'm silly, I know. Alright, to fast travel quickly between key locations, open your map and select a fast travel icon. Didn't get to read all of that, but still, never mind. Uh, I'm pretty much familiar about how fast travel works, considering I've played all of the Assassin's Creed games that have been on... PS3. Oh, can I be bothered? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's just uh, synchronize this viewpoint. This is totally normal. Just climbing to the top of this. It's what everyone does. And then stands on one foot practically as well. <clears throat> but that's bloody cold. What is your problem? <clears throat> Come on then. It's one way of interacting. <clears throat> you ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. 
But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come, I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. How to leave? So, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being caught. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? We can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth, and all of it without question. They lose this beast. I was listening to that. Here we are. <laughs> Speak with the harbor master, and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this. Fish. It's a fish. <clears throat> okay, mission complete. Another one. Let's wait till this loads up. See, things are changing around here. Seems to be a few patriots marching around. Not so much loyalists. Um, what have we got here? So this is the map, pretty much. You can sail down to those bits. I don't know how much exactly is interactive. I think this game is just based in Boston and New York, wherever that is. It's around here somewhere, isn't it? <coughs> and then, of course, you've got the open seas missions. But where exactly do I have to go for the next mission? Let's just zoom out a bit. Go up there, go back to Davenport Homestead. <clears throat> See if we can fast travel to that. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, back at the Davenport Homestead. There's a ship and a half. Shame it's a bit of a wreck at the minute. <coughs> well, I assume that is the ship we will need to repair or something? Because I know there's some naval missions in this. Well, I guess we have our own ship eventually. I don't know what I'm doing actually. Um, probably got to go around here. <coughs> What's this? Mm, just a crate. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's try and keep out the the deep snow if we can. I'm not sure how that's how possible that will be. I assume this is a sort of path. Uh, that's good enough. It's good enough as a path. <clears throat> All right, bird. I assume we got to go back and talk to Achilles. So any logical explanation <coughs> for being back here? A lost son's return. Hmm. 
Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. What is that? Let me guess. Oh, yeah. Go on before I change my mind. What? <clears throat> Bears? Kill a bear with the hidden blade? Oh, with pleasure, of course. I'll do that, won't I? Of course, yeah, yeah. I've always wants to kill a bear with a hidden blade. <clears throat> oh, I can't select it anyway. Yes, 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 I'm coming. Help! Help! You, sir, please, help! He's going to die! All right, all right. River rescue. Ooh. There's no time. Please come. Can't you talk while running? I've met you before. Weren't you having a fight with that other bloke? Or trying to and they weren't hitting each other. So what's going on down here? Who am I rescuing? And why? Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! Well, he's got himself into a bit of a pickle, hasn't he? Whoops! <laughs> well, that, f that fails that optional objective. Oh, well, never mind. Shit happens. <clears throat> I never said I was that fussed about the optional objectives. I'll try and follow them, yeah, but, you know, I'm not bothered. Let's see if I can just get to him. This isn't going well, I'm not catching up very much so far. Oh, that should help. Oh, maybe not. I thought I had it there. Come on. Hold on! Oh, surely I'm not that strong <laughs> to fight that current. <laughs> no. What this knobbend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling a knobbend? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. Bye, no bend. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. 
What is it? An asset. <clears throat> Where's this going? Hmm. That doesn't look good. I think I'll go and help him. So these are homestead missions. Those little icons. So you should be able to do things to improve your land and I suppose have more things to trade with the towns. Um, yeah, those little symbols on the map with words inside them are the, the people just walking around. What's he doing? He's making a snowman, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, anyway. Where's that bloke with his burning wagon? I want to help him. I think he definitely needs a bit of help. And Love Spuds is the man to do it. Providing he doesn't kill himself first. Probably can run up that tree there. Should give me a nice way to get to the cliff, I hope. Looks like it's going in that direction. So maybe be a nice way up. Yeah, there we go. That looks alright to me. Oh, ah, that's not very nice. Oh. Had to be a bit careful there. It's not going particularly well for me at the minute. In terms of... Okay, maybe. Maybe it's just fine. <laughs> it's fine, they didn't even hit me. I thought things were going wrong then. Because I couldn't fight them properly, but it all worked out in the end. Let's help this man up. Before, <laughs> before he uh, falls off or something. I don't know. Before the rope decides to unknot itself. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with me? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Good for you. Lance can now craft woodwork such as crates and barrels. Oh. New recipe discovered. So, it looks like we got ourselves a little workshop going on here. Excellent, eh? Oh, that's Godfrey and the other people. Sweet. Um, so where are we going now? 
Oh, just over there. Okay. Fast travel over there. You don't have to use fast travel points to fast travel around a map, it seems. Kind of makes the fast travel points a bit useless. <clears throat> On a few places you can just click and automatically fast travel there anyway. Which is quite handy. But I have them. A ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that captain. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking it alone. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Uh, okay. See what Achilles wants. Go away. No. Say go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy! The ghost of the North Seas! The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it! I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. You're not raising yourself, yet on a crew. And you need timber? Well, you're in luck. I found just the men for the job. Oh, let's go get up here again. Ay, ay, ay. Pardon me. A lot of running around, of course. So we got to talk to a killing so I wonder what we got to do here then. Oh, we're going under it this time. Brilliant. Um, well that's in the house, isn't it? I'll stop doing that. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Uh, okay, so here we go into the management side of things. So press X to enter the stockpile. Godfrey and Terry have oak lumber available for purchase. So we've got to press X to purchase the oak lumber. Amount available three, unit costs eight. So go left. 
I mean, right. <laughs> to increase the amount to be purchased to three. Uh, 24 pounds and we have 1,000 to 332 pounds so that is easily done so there we go we have purchased the oak lumber and it's now in the stockpile leave the stockpile select use L to select the trading menu that's crafting that's trading the oak logs can be sold to merchants through convoys press X to select your available convoy that's done. Items must be assigned to the convoy. Press X to assign an item to the selected slot. Godfrey and Terry have oak lumber available for purchase. Well, yeah. Let's press X to select the merchant to whom the item will be sold. Hancock store number five. Carefully monitor time, risk and tax as they will vary depending on selected merchants. Press triangle to send the convoy to selected merchant. So travel time 12 minutes I think that is. 35% risk, 30% tax, profit of £21. So that's not too bad. Let's just send the convoy and X to confirm sending the convoy. So that's how we do that. That's the end of training begins. Full synchronization, of course, there is no optional objective, so easy as pie.